Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit here on your 2020 Ford Escape. So a brake light relay kit is going to be required for most vehicles that have separate brake and turn signals like our Ford Escape. Now essentially what this kit does is it's going to prevent the brakes in our towed vehicle from overriding the turn signals coming for our motorhome. So it is an important part of our setup in order to remain legal and safe going down the road. So in regards to actual operation or activation rather, it's gonna be triggered from turning the running lights on in our motorhome. So we don't have to worry about doing anything in the towed vehicle here. So as long as we have the running lights on in the motorhome, everything is gonna be working properly driving down the road. We don't have to worry up any, we don't have to worry about any setup here for our towed vehicle. So this is what our relay is gonna look like installed. Granted, it may look a little different depending on where you mount yours. We mounted ours directly to this metal panel here. So if you remove this little removable panel, we can show you what that looks like. But it's gonna be held on by three clips, two on the bottom, one on the top. It installs like that. You'll just simply pop that out. And then what we did, we took a piece of double-sided tape and we used that to attach the relay to the metal behind here. Now it's pretty thick, so I don't think you'll be able to use a self-tapping screw. And it's one less hole we have to drill in our vehicle by using the double-sided tape. But aside from that, we're pretty much just making the connections for our wires. It's pretty simple. We'll go into a little bit more in depth about that now. So in regards to the wiring, if you wanna give yourself more room to work, you can actually remove this panel as well. Now, in order to do that, it's a little tricky. We have the hood latch released here. You're gonna to have to pull that out slightly. And then there's gonna be a retainer clip on the top. We'll use a flat blade screwdriver to pop that out and then you can remove the handle straight out and then just simply pull the panel up. It uses those same clips that this panel did. So that'll give you a little bit more room to work. It's not required, but as far as the wiring goes, it's pretty simple. You're gonna have a white wire coming from the harness. Keep in mind, this is a pigtail that's removable from the relay. So the white wire is gonna be for our ground. We'll just simply attach that to an existing ground located behind that panel. The other wire we're gonna have is a red wire that actually needs to be tied into the running light circuit from our lighting kit for the tail lights that come from the RV. So again, that's how it triggers. So we need to splice into that circuit. Now we'll have a few more connections we need to make. It's gonna be a blue wire and a black wire. So as far as how this works, in order to intercept the vehicle's brake signal, we need to tie in between that. So we've already done the hard part for you, but basically what you would do is you would find the harness that goes to your brake pedal that goes to the connector that attaches to the brake pedal. We need to test those wires so we can find the cold side of it or the side that's only active when we're depressing the brakes. So again, we've done the hard work for you. There's gonna be two wires for this. It's gonna be the violet wire with a white stripe. There's gonna be two of them down there and that's gonna be the cold side of the brake pedal. So we're actually gonna to need to go ahead and cut both of those violet with white striped wires we're actually gonna be tying them together and installing our relay in between. We do, however, need to make sure that we attach the correct wire from the relay to the correct side of the stoplight switch because it does matter. So one side of the stoplight switch wire is gonna to go to the towed vehicle's brake lights. We need to attach both of those wires to the black wire that comes from the relay. The other side of the relay is gonna be for a blue wire and that's gonna tie in to the two purple wires that come from the brake switch. We also wanna splice in a brake signal output wire, which is gonna be a separate wire that comes in our kit, a black wire. We need to splice that into that circuit as well. And then we'll run that up to the front of the vehicle. In regards to how we transfer the signal from the towed vehicle to the motorhome, if you have a six to seven way uh, umbilical cord, it's gonna be a great option. There should be an extra pin, you can use that. And that way you can do everything through the umbilical cord. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Roadmaster brake light relay kit here on your 2020 Ford Escape. 